decided to move back up to Accrington mm -hmm. um, and I got a pub there. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved it. It took some, took some work and that's when, when I obviously met my ex-husband. Okay. Him when and I how, back to right, okay, so how old are you at this point? 27. Uh, 26, sorry. I got married at 27. 26. 26. So you'd had a good sort of like six years travelling around and your, oh, your ex husband's yeah. called Jamie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how, so how did you meet? What, what's the story with you and Jamie? He literally walked into the pub, um, tall, dark, loads of tattoos, an yeah. absolute idiot. Yeah. And I thought, I like you. <laughs> that was you're, you're a bit of gem worth, yeah. yeah. And yeah. that was it. Um, so we kind of hit it off. We he was actually he was he was actually with someone. Um, okay. So I kind of stole him, if you will. Um, yeah. So we we got together twenty first of September two thousand and nine. We got married twenty first of May two thousand and ten. Wow. Yeah, and we Whirlwind. stayed together for ten years. Wow, yeah. ten years. Yeah, everyone said it won't last. And yeah, ten years. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right, cause, because again. And this so it features in your book, yes, and it, yeah. you know again. There's more in depth about everything in the book. Yeah. Of course, of yeah. course, and you know we we always say, you know, because I think we're on the same sort of level when it comes to the universe and yes. how things come together and yeah, the journey yeah. of you know you have to go on this path mm -hmm. to be able to be grateful and to find yeah, of course, where yeah. you are now. So with Jamie, then when how how long was it good for? Um, it was it was good for you know first right. It was it was good for a bit, um, but mm. then obviously problems started to, you know, come out as such because you know we, I've I've been warned about his past and stuff. Okay, you know, so what was know, that? What was that? He he was obviously like uh, violent. You know. What oh I mean? really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Do you think that attracted you even more? Probably, yeah. That drew you to him a bit. Yeah. Do you think it was because you thought you could change him? Probably, and, and I did, you know. Right. I did. Okay. And everyone warned me against him, and, I, you know, he, he that man loved me. We were like Bonnie and Clyde. Really? We were. We, 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 we thought we were untouchable. You know, that's how we felt, mm. and we were, you know, we were madly in love, and we had his his children, and they were my children now, and oh, wow. they were fantastic. Things were good, you know. Um, but then I say, we, we used to drink a lot, you know, there were uh, drugs involved on both parts. I'm mm. no angel. Mm -hmm. You know, and when they start getting thrown into the mix, things start, you know, then the money starts running out and then there's nothing to feed the yeah. kids. And that's when, obviously, we started fighting, mm -hmm. um, you know, and things got really bad. If they were good, they were good. When they were bad, they were bad. You it's, know? Like an, it's, it's like extreme levels, aren't they? It was one of the Such other. Such extensive love. Yeah, to... and then it wasn't, yeah. Mm. So, it, I mean, that went on for years. So when it were good, it were good. And, we, you know, we, you know, we did loads of nice things with the kids and we had such a good life, you know. Um, but then when it was bad, it was bad, you know, with fighting and, yeah. and I mean proper brawling. Really? On both yeah, I mean put really bad fighting. Can I just ask, you keep mentioning the children, mm -hmm. how many children were there? Three. There's three kids? Yes. And how old were they when you when you met Jamie? Uh, four, five and six. Wow. Yeah. Crikey, that's yeah. a lot to take on. Yeah, yeah. And and did did, did you have them full time? Yeah, full time, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. so, so they, were, they were your kids as a, as yes. a family. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So the, the relationship's sort of starting to break down and I can imagine with you, you wanted to hide the kids from that. Yes. Yeah. And yes. that's even harder. Yeah. So like I say, think, yeah, so, you, you know, we try to hide the kids from all the, you know, all the fighting and the arguments, but obviously they've seen some stuff, which is not nice, you know. Oh, it, it happens, you know, you can't beat things, yourself yeah. up. Yeah. Um, and then obviously where we lived, it was quite a, you know, a, a bad area as such, if you will. So we, we at the time were running a pub um, and we kind of turned it around. It was a really rough pub, mm. turned it around. So the owners of the pub asked us to move to Clay Cross. To, this is how we've come so to be So this is here. how you came yeah. to Clay Cross. So we thought we need a fresh start. Let's move away. Fresh, fresh town, fresh start. And that's what we did. Fantastic. Yeah. And this is when? 2000 and would have been 11. 10, 11, yeah, yeah, 2011. Not okay. long, yeah, not yeah, long after we were married, yeah. So wow. we moved, moved to Clay Cross. Um, I was took over the pub, you know, when we turned it around. It, you know, it was really, really good. We made so many friends, and yeah. that's why I love it. That's why I'm not like, I love it. This is my home, yeah. you know. Been here, what, 12, 11 years now? Something it'll be, won't it? I can't work it all out. I'm an accountant and all. <laughs> I should put my mind gone blank. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. But, like, yeah, that's that's how we come to move here. But then, you know, um, obviously drinking again got involved and it just started to escalate. I mean, we had su such bad fights and stuff. Mm. Um, and then 
when I lost my dad, I changed as a person. It completely mm. changed me. Of course it did. As this, a this, this, this is where we were getting to because this is, you know, you've had so many pivotal points in your yeah. life. Yeah. But losing your dad that was, was, was the biggest thing. Yeah. And we've only touched on the fact that, you know, you didn't really see him in your 20s. No. So there must have been some point that you got back yeah. into his life and got that engagement when got married, again. When you got married. When I got married, yeah. So him giving you away giving was away, like yeah. the, the start of a relationship that yeah. you built with him again. Yeah. And that's when he, t after I got married, that's when he told me that he first had uh, cancer and he obviously fought it. Um, he was 50. So then, ever since then, it was like we, we had a relate. He, he mm. used to come up here all the time. He right. used to come to the pub. Yeah. He used to bring the kids like little, these like little brown paper bags from work with all like snacks in it and stuff. And the kids oh, used to, every Friday, amazing. He, he used to come over, you know. So yeah. then we, we, that was when we we had a such, such a good relationship. We were going to the football. He we were mad on Stoke. You know, we were going to gigs together. It was just brilliant. But then obviously we got hit with the news again that he was poorly. Um, yeah. It just seems so unfair mm. because this is Jem yeah. Worth that's been travelling around a lot, feeling a little bit lost. Yeah. She's a very brave character that doesn't let anyone pull her down. Mm. But then she has this relationship where she finds a lot of love with yeah. her dad. Yeah. Doesn't seem very fair, does it? <laughs> no. No. Bless no. You. <laughs> I did, I did hate the world for a bit. Yeah. You know, it was like, wow, it's not very fair. Yeah. That's all I kept thinking. It's just not fair. Just not fair. You've, got, yeah. you've let me have him back again. Yeah. And now you're, you're taking him away. And this yeah. is when, and your marriage was breaking down. Yes, it was, yeah. And we yeah. know now, we you, mm. you can see Jen Worth wanted to be loved. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. She would have put up with anything to be loved. Yeah. Do you think that's what and happened I, I with was, Jamie? Yeah, I was. I was. Oh, yeah, God. Um, I was loved. Mm. There's no... No denying that mm. at all. We we were very much in love. That that mm. that wasn't the issue. Yeah. I th I don't. I couldn't really tell you what the issue. I changed the person, probably as well. So, you know, I I probably started being a little bit different. I started yeah. wanting to do more with my life. Yeah. I, I don't know. I I just completely changed. The female thirty crisis. Probably. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, cause I, cause it happens I, to the best of us. Yeah, my dad died at th when. When you were 30, yeah. yeah. So in between, like, kind of all all this kicking off, um, we'd left the pub. Yeah. Um, and I was obviously, you know, got into, um, like, doing payroll and wanting to do accounts and stuff. So I'd started doing that at the pub. And, and, you started doing it at yeah. the pub, and then, and then you found your love for it. Yes, and that's when it all kind of kicked off with that, because I never thought I'd have a, you know, like a decent career or anything. But I kind of fell onto the accounting through the pub having to yeah, do our yeah. own books i thought i'm not paying these prices i'm gonna do it myself proper <laughs> skin food i'm not skin food. i'm so generous i love but, it <laughs> no you really are but, <laughs> but i love that so that's how i kind of fell in fell into it and i loved it and i, I like a story i always tell people that was the day after my dad died i went and sat a vat exam and i passed it 100 percent. it's amazing i love that and I'm just story like, how did i do that because someone was looking yeah. after you and ever since then, I've that, ever since that day, I'm like, I can do anything that I want to do. And, and that was it. And I've gone goosebumps. I have as well. Now. Look and at that. that. Was, that, was, that was the day that I thought, right, this is I it. can do anything now. The, yeah. This is it. Bullet beans to big dreams. Yes. Yes. And so she begins. <laughs> so at this point, had your relationship broken down with Jamie? Um, me and Jamie split up in uh, December 2018. Um, things were not right for a very long time. Uh, we'd gone to Florida family holiday it you know it, it really was it was one of the worst holidays you know things got said that were probably that I couldn't get past you know he he told me that he, uh, they didn't love me anymore so I think that was kind of you know mm. kind of the it, it was done there but then our eldest daughter fell pregnant at 15 so wow. I I wanted to be around for that and we tried to make it work and um, we're going to get remarried you know we booked it all yeah. Um, but then things, you know, other things happened. Um, and at this point, you've got your first accountancy, haven't you? Yes, in between all this, this as is, well. This yeah. is what I mean. This is where it's all crazy. <laughs> so we've gone from we've gone from you know sort of having this relationship with your dad to your dad then passing away yeah. to you thinking actually I'm going to do my own accounts. Oh, I'm going to pass the VAT exam with hundred yeah. percent and I'm going to own my own accountancy. Yeah. Having that, trouble I, with my marriage, I've then got a, a teenage daughter, daughter that's pregnant. Fifteen, yeah, yeah. Did you breathe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, how I did I'm it. exhausted just talking about it. I know. It. I don't know how I did but it. You still did it. I know. That's what. That's what's yeah. amazing, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. that would have crumbled so many people. Yeah. 
But I not you. Yeah. It's like it had the reverse effect. Well, that's the thing with me. Uh, if something bad happens to me, I kind of turn it around and it makes me more determined. Yeah. Um, obviously, like the breakdown of a marriage is... Of, and, and a lot of people... I've always heard people saying, you know, like getting divorced is one of the hardest things you'll ever do. And, and I, I kid you not, it is. It's The only way I can explain it is like grieving for someone that's still alive. And you try doing that. Do you, do you know why I've heard that said before, actually? It is hard. You know, because, you know, you're with that person for such a long time. And, yeah. you know, I I didn't want to be divorced because I'd, I'd obviously made a promise to my dad that I would always make it work. Yeah, and, I'd, and you'd you know, fight. Out, yeah. And, I, you know, things mm. got to the point where it couldn't. we had, you know, a big, massive argument um, and things just got too, too much. Mm. And, I, and I left and never mm. went back, you mm. know. And it was one of the hardest decisions... I've ever had to make, you yeah. know, it was tough. I had nothing. I literally got a house with nothing in it. Yeah. I didn't have a washing machine, a bed, a knife or a fork or a spoon, nothing. You know, and all my friends rallied round and, you know, I kind of, before, you know, I had one red sofa, one some of the, you know, it was just like, it. it was it. all mismatched, but yeah. I didn't care. It was, it was, it was yours. It was mine. Um, yeah, so I was, you know, kind of going through the divorce um, and I just kind of put my heart and soul into my business um and it was kind of my safe place it was my haven mm. that was my my baby my safe yeah. place and i just threw myself and it, it kind of saved my life i think really really, really you act, you can actually strong a statement you say that yeah. if that wasn't there i reckon that business I, I know for a fact two things have saved my life uh, my business because mm. it's my baby and it's my passion mm. and when i decided just to book a flight and bugger off to grand canary on my own for four days never told anyone i was going just went I love this. I always threatened to do it. <laughs> I've seen a post on Facebook did. Um, and it said... And you, when is this? This is... Cause this it, this after is, left Jamie. There's yeah, so many things. Yeah. They're all like, you know. This so you left Jamie and you just thought... 2018. So 2019, July 2019. But you've got your accountancy you've got my business, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got the one in uh, Claycross. Um, yeah, July 2019 seen a post on Facebook, I sat at home, just like sad, you know, upset all over the place. Mm. And this post on Facebook said, um, you will travel once on your own, but it'll be the most scary and exhilarating thing you will ever do. So I thought, right, do it. straight on the internet, boom, straight down to East Midlands, on a plane to Gran Canaria, went on the beach, got a cocktail, sat there, put a post on Facebook. And oh, I was like, you are mate. not in Gran Canaria. I went, hang on, picture. Yes, I am. It's like Shirley Valentine esque yeah, kind of thing. Did they someone really? Someone called me that. I thought, what are they on about? Shirley Valentine. Well, I've heard the name, but I don't know how to Google it. Yeah. <laughs> then he had to watch it. Honestly, yeah. he's, he's mega. So that kind of saved me because I sat on the beach for four days, and I kid you not, I just sat and cried. I had to get it all out. You know. I that, can totally relate to that. Yeah, I wrote. Um, Did I got, you write everything down? I wrote everything down. I, I went to the shop that. and got this ball, wrapped it around, put a hair bobble around it, and I threw it into the sea. And then I flew home. And then when I flew home, mm. I thought, right, Gone. this is it. <clears throat> so from there, um, I went to Manchester. I worked to open an office in Manchester. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. are, we, are we with it? I just need to breathe <coughs> a minute. You know, this, is, this is just awesome. I just, I, I'm still on this ball into the sea. Yeah. What a great idea. Do you know, I just yeah. think that's such a great way of... Down, because yeah. sometimes... And I've had to... <coughs> I've had to do it myself at times uh, to write everything down that you've dealt with, yeah. that you've been through, you know, to, mm -hmm. to actually not be humble for a change and go, yeah. do you know what? I'm all right, I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm yeah. giving myself a round of applause. Yeah. And I think that, that was it's such good therapy. Yeah. And I will say to anybody that is sort of watching this, if you do have that kind of mental block, write it down. Yeah, definitely. Do write it down. It helps. Mm -hmm so so much yeah definitely. and the, the amount of people that have said they've done the same and it is it's like a it's like you can breathe yeah it really it? helped me it really did i thought and i come back like a different mindset a different person and, and because you'd gone down there mm -hmm. yeah only one way back everything up, else yeah you just look at it and you go yeah. wow yeah it's like you look at it with a different color mm -hmm. yeah definitely yeah. yeah. So you come back, <laughs> you go to Manchester with the girls, was it, wasn't it? With uh, my best friend Kirsty. Your best friend Kirsty. Yeah. Are you going on Lash? Um, no, this was, I don't know, I'd, I'd kind of, it was always in the pipeline that I wanted to, to open the office in Manchester. So I kind of put the feelers out there, set a Facebook page up, um, got chatting to a few people, got some clients. You I had enough money that. 
to then get a place like a serviced office. So you've got an office place, you've got the, you, know, you can set it all up there, you can go in and out. So I'd set it all up, um, not told anyone, and then obviously come back, told my best friend. So we went to Manchester for the day. I took her out for a swanky meal. I love it. I bought a £60 bottle of champagne. Good I'm like, girl. what the hell am I doing? I'm with a card. Oh, no. <laughs> and it doesn't taste any different from normal, but I, I liked know. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did. And we took loads of pictures. And that's when I announced it at the office in Manchester. And it was just like, this is it. And then from there, like, obviously, people get in touch and word of mouth. And yeah, They're inspired just, by you, babe. It just kind of escalated from there. Um, Who else would you want looking after your mm, money than someone yeah. that's taken themselves from nothing, mm -hmm. from zero to 100? Yeah. It, it's yeah. like, it, we always say people don't buy what you do, they buy what? Uh, buy, people don't, yeah. buy people the buy person people. the product. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. I like, yeah, people, that's, people buy I'm, you. I'm, I'm the unique selling point for my business. It's me. Yeah, it's you. Because people, because people come off like, oh, I'm, I'm a bit scared. Why? <laughs> Why yeah, are you scared? Exactly. It's just me. But then the obvious... Yeah, because you think all oh, accountants, you know. I get told off by my accountant every January. Mm. The, the, the bile rises up in me when I see the number going off. Do you know yeah. what I mean? At and times I, I'm and like, I never Ooh. wanted that, and not one person has ever said when I, when they see me ringing or no answering worries. that, and, and they don't because you know it's uh, you know well, we obviously talk shop and we talk yeah, proper, yeah. but then we it's like we have a, a chat as well. It's like you know. So, Manchester. Yes. You got that uh, sorted out. You got the business there. Yeah. Sorted out. So then you've got Claycross. And you've got the Manchester accountant. Yeah. So then Jen Worse isn't happy with that, is she? No. <laughs> no, she's not satisfied with that. What was? What did Jen Worth do next? Oh, you see, there's another book. <laughs> yeah. That's the um, next one. So in honour of my dad, I decided to. I wanted to open an office in Stoke. Are your dad's from Stoke. Then? No, no, he's from Macclesfield, but he was a massive Stoke City fan. Ah, okay. Um, and everything that I've wanted to do is in honour of my dad, and that's what that's my drive and determination to make him proud and to be able to do stuff for him. So I always promised him that he'd see his name in Stoke City. Um, oh, so I thought girl. I'd see if I could get a couple of clients out there because I've got clients Birmingham way. So I thought, well, I can, yeah, yeah. you know, I can make it work. So I did. I kind of put myself out there, did the Facebook page, found a spot again, serviced mm -hmm. office. These service offices are fantastic because you've got a base, you've got a little office, you know, and that's, and that's all you need, yeah. you know, for client meetings. So the Stoke office was born. Um, and then on kind of the back of that, um, I got in touch with Stoke City. Yeah. So I decided, like you do. I like you do. You know, yeah. hello, it's me. <laughs> Not a problem. I'm Jen Wiz. <laughs> hello. Yeah. yeah. So I got in touch with Stoke, saying I would like to uh, sponsor um, one of the players' shirts, which you can do. So I'd made enough money um, to be able to do that in honour of my dad. So I sponsored one of one of the players' shirts, so I went down for the day. How was that? Five-star treatment, Bad. very emotional. I was going to say, how much um, did you cry? A lot. Um, I didn't have a date, so I took my best friend's husband as my date, because she's like, she's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's another book for another time. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> no. Yeah, so we, yeah, uh, we, it was a fantastic day. Everyone was so lovely. Met all the players, got uh, pictures like with Tom Ince that I'd uh, yeah. sponsored. So, so like, so each... Uh, programs and programs there like my uh, business name is by the shirt Amazing. so i kind of kept the promise to my dad and, and it happened to be seven years afterwards that i'd said to my dad in 2012 i, w I was obviously going to put his name in lights at stoke and then seven years later to the day i was there in stoke i had a picture in the same spot but he was not there it was a bit, yeah it was a little bit yeah, hard but he was there yeah and i took some I took some of his hair that I got when he passed away and I, I was I was walking around the ground, you know, weren't supposed to, but I went on him, put it in the ground, no, but where he didn't. always wanted to be. I put some of my dad's hair in the ground, so he's always at Stoke. That's what I did. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> we, won't, we won't mention that. <laughs> wow, yeah. though. That's yeah. such a beautiful thing. Yeah. Do you feel that, you know, you have got a London office now. Yes. That's that's only just come, is it oh, not? Yeah. Uh, I opened that just before they all, like, obviously, COVID stuff. Yeah, so that's yeah. kind of been, been kind of shut, shut at the moment. But, yeah, I've but got it's one there. down there. Yeah, it's down there, yeah. Do you feel now that you constantly sort of have to challenge yourself or cha or, or set yourself targets mm. because that's what you thrive from? Yeah. So that's what it sounds to me Definitely, like yeah. you do. Yeah. So this is where we get to... You're doing flying lessons. Yes. And you're now you doing... You change I, I love that. Not being funny, I won't get in a plane with you, but I won't get in a plane with any of our pilots, you know what I mean? but I'll watch him. Um, yes. And then you're doing bits of radio. 
Yes. On internet radio. Yes. Why? Why? Because I want to. You just want to. Because <laughs> I can. <laughs> and, that, and that's what I've been like, like a big head around. No, it's I don't not. mean like because I can. I because just mean because. We are. It's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. It's... And we should never be afraid to give ourselves and compliment yeah. ourselves. And nothing's yeah. unachievable I've if you put your mind wanted, to it. Yeah, I've always wanted to um, fly a plane because I love aeroplanes. Me and my dad and my brother used to go to Manchester Airport every weekend playing spawn. Every you weekend. Really? We had our little books. We had our li <laughs> hey, oh, the little books. We had our little picnic uh, set up and, and we're sat there playing spot and we're, we're with binoculars. Is there numbers on planes or something? Yes, I've got the book <laughs> in there. I've, I've got them. <laughs> When my dad died, that's what he gave me. No. I've got them, yeah, and I've carried it on. Without do you COVID, still go I do still go plane spotting, would you believe? This is amazing. <laughs> it's an exclusive. This is way. absolutely fantastic. Honestly, I bet you've got that app on your phone, haven't you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I love nothing more than just getting in the car, going to East Midlands, going to like Manchester Airport, just going for the day. I do you get, you get lost it. in it? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Takes you right away. Yeah, and they've got a Concorde there, which you can go on now. I'm going on as soon as COVID's <laughs> out the way. I am going on this Concorde. You can pay for a tour. I love that. Watch out, Concorde. She's coming. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, there's so many things that we, we, we need to go into. I mean, you, you mentioned briefly, some time back actually about your brother. Yes. And he's in prison? He is, yes, yeah. Ten can years I, stretch. Can I ask what happened there and how that makes you feel? And, and... Oh, I'm absolutely devastated. He is a pain in the backside. He's, he's, you know, he is my little brother, but I love him. Um, he, when my nana died, when we was eight, when I was 18, he'd have been 16, he, he got into crime and it kind of escalated. Mm -hmm. He started taking drugs, you know, and then that, that escalated in, into being like a heroin addict. Oh, bless. Um, he's been in and out of jail since he was 16. Oh, wow. um, he, you know like petty things and stuff and just you know obviously with his, with his drug um addiction obviously you have to feed that habit so you you know he's nicking from shops he's getting caught and getting mm. himself involved and stuff so he's been in, in and out yeah. um he, he got sentenced a couple of years ago okay. um he did a, a lot of, a lot of burglaries around the area which was absolutely devastating to all the people obviously that he's you know he's you know he's hurt all these people um but from like a sister looking in, it's very hard. I don't condone what he does, not one bit. And he knows that. And I tell him, I, and I say to him one time, you need to sort, sort your head out. Yeah, of course. You know, you're nearly 40. Yeah. Um, but he's got his issues. You know, he's got obviously PTSD for something that happened to him when he was very, very young. Really? Um, obviously, uh, losing my dad, who was, he was very close to my dad. So he's yeah. had, got a lot of issues, you yeah. know, and I, I can see it from the other point of view. Of course. You know, so we, yeah. People can't just be kicked off, do you know what I mean, can no. they? They've got to be talked through it and nurtured. Yeah, but it's hard. So it's it's hard. hard for anyone to do that and to step up to do it. Yeah, And, yeah. you know, and you, you put so much direction with your life. And, and of course, you, we took, you know, about your children. Yeah. You know, the, you're in Jamie's children. Just because your relationship with Jamie broke down, mm -hmm. the, the children are still with yeah. you, aren't they? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, I love are. that. Yeah. I love that. I really, really do. <laughs> yeah. And your relationship with your kids is is very strong. I see you sort of on your social yeah, media. We're, yeah, she, we're like best friends. But what I love about Rihanna is, because she always lives with me, Rihanna, even though we've got a best friend relationship, she still respects me as her mum. And she calls me mum. I love that. And she still respects me as her mother. If I say to her, I want you to wash the pot, she will do it. Yeah, yeah. You Not because she's scared, because she respects she, you. She respects me, yeah. If, you know, if I and ask her to do something, doing. not that I have to ever ask her. She's such a good kid. I mean, she's 18. Oh, my God. She went out last week for the first time. I was like, have you got your bank card? Have you got your phone? Have you got this? And I'm thinking, Gemma, just shut up. She's 18. But I'm like, any trouble? Ring me. I'm there. I'm thinking, oh, I'm, my God. I'll be there in about six of this. I'm like, what are we oh, doing? <laughs> yeah, but it was very hard to let I, go. I saw you I saw you post that, actually. And it made me think about my daughter. And I, I remember sitting around to my partner, man's going, can you imagine when he remained? And we're like, no, because mm. it's not going to happen. No. Right? <laughs> She'll be coming out with me. That's it. It's done. So we get this. And it was, was it with your daughter that you went to New York? Yes, yes. Christmas Day. And when was this? 2019. 2000. We actually flew out Christmas Eve. Um, Have you been before? I'd been before, yes, with Jamie, mm. but we'd gone at the beginning of December. Um, but this was for Christmas. So I rung Jamie. I said, is it OK if, I, you know, if, we, if we can go? Um, because I didn't want, I didn't know if he had like, plans for Christmas for yeah, Rihanna, what were going on. So he said, yeah, it's fine. So we booked it, um, flew out Christmas Eve, went down to London night before, you know, 
went and did all the Christmas shopping, went to Harrods, bought a purse It's each. a bit like a film, dear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. And then, yeah, we woke up, New York, Christmas, uh, Christmas Day. Day 2019. Wow. Yeah. And this is the big inspiration. Yes. Behind. Yes, this is where the, the book. Beans. Yes. To big dreams. Yeah, so I'd, a lot of people have said, why don't you write a book? You've had such a lot of things go off in your life, good and bad. I said, oh, I don't know, like a memoir type. I said, I might do. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I think I'm going to do it. So on Christmas Day, we had a walk around, you know, like the city, and I went to his Christmas market. In fact, I got that book there. The shimmy Yes, yeah, so this, is the, this is the little journal that I bought I from a Christmas this. market. I feel like this is going to be like a museum piece at some point. Yeah, so you can see all my scribbles. So yeah. that was what I bought. We went to the Empire State Building. Oh, that's your dad. Yeah, that's my dad, yeah. That, that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so I, as you saw, I went to the Empire State Building, Christmas Day, and then we, we, we left there and I, I'd started writing in this book. And I thought, I need a name for my book. I'm in the city of dreams, I thought. And I thought, that's good, dreams. And I thought, something about my childhood. And I, I like a good memory. And I remember that me and Ryan used to flick beans at each other and they were the nine P1s from Tesco. <laughs> the bull, and, and we called them Tesco two-stripe beans, but that's right. all my mum and dad could afford. And they were like bullets and we used to throw them at each other and flick them at each other. So I thought bullet beans to big dreams. Amazing. And I wrote it in the, I showed you before, Babble. didn't I? I wrote it in that book, wrote the date, and I thought I want some quirky uh, chapters. And then them chapters in there, what I've used in the actual book, I wrote it all down in New York, what amazing. I was going to call everything. I, it just I wrote, came. Yeah, it just came. I wrote down all different ideas and things, what I was going to talk about. Then I also wrote down things that I wanted to achieve. So I wanted to pay off all my debts, which I, I showed you in there. And a big tick through it that I'd done it. Um, yeah, so that's how it was kind of yeah. born. Bullet beans to big dreams. I even did some like promo when I went. I went to Central Park with a t-shirt with my accountancy business on, Aysworth and Stone there, and walking around Central Park like I'm gonna get some clients, like you know. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> like you do. Well you never know, you might I'm meet Jem Worth. You might I've meet Brad Pitt or someone. <laughs> Liam Gallagher. Possible. That's what I want to meet. You can stick with that one. If though. you're listening. <laughs> Do you know if you manifest that, that is going to be amazing. I'd die for him, honestly. Oh. I think I, I would not. I'd be like, silence. Maybe we need to wheel out a Liam then every now and then. You make something going, where's me Liam? Let's put him out I there. Know everyone says I talk too much, you no, know. No, you don't. Because you're so, <laughs> you've got so much that you're so proud of. Yeah. And there's so much that you've been keeping in. Yeah, and this, yeah. And it is difficult because you're so humble. And mm -hmm. we're always told that we, you know, don't be up your own oh, backside. Oh, I've never this, that, and the backside. Other. Never. Uh, but, but then you go on the other way and you don't actually recognise in yourself what you've achieved. So when, when people... Re you know, sort of re uh, can see it. Yeah, it's nice to be able to unleash it. Yeah, because I'm and like, you should be so proud. I know. I'm like, what you're on about? I'm thinking, what have I, what have I done? I don't you really. Have. Yeah, well, it says to me, you're such an inspiration. You it makes are. me feel really nice inside. It's the best feeling ever. It's lovely, and I'm just like, wow. And everyone comes up to me, and I'm like, Ooh. and then you then you look back and you think, don't need the drugs, don't need the drink. Yeah, because someone just saying that to me just mm. makes me feel yeah. even better than anything else. Yeah, and now we've got the book out. Yes. You're sponsoring so many charities, you're involved with so many charities, yes. you're making a difference in so many people's yes. lives, yes. and you will continue to do so. Yeah. You're learning to fly a plane. Yes. Oh, God, I am, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you are incredible. Oh, thank you. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely you. well done. Mm -hmm. And don't let anyone ever bring you down. I don't think you would. I really don't. I don't know. You have days sometimes. Everyone has days, do. don't they? You, have, you to... have to massively remember who you are. And yes. I love that it says here, show the cameras this council estate kids rule. It's my new t-shirt. Exactly. <laughs> and this is, this is the lady that didn't have a great time when she was a kid, but can no. look back on it now and know yeah. that that's what's made you who oh, you are. Oh, 100%. I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I'll never forget where I come from, ever. Council estate roots. Never, ever, ever. It's, it's made it you was, who you are today. Definitely, yeah. It's it was, given you that depth. Yeah, rope swings and all that kind of stuff. Love you know, it. kids of today, they don't they don't know what it will like. They don't know they're born to, to, to swim in rat wing. <laughs> <laughs> never do. Jen, do you know what? Again, this story will be continued. Yes. I can see this happening. <laughs> but for now, thank yes. you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you thank for you having so me Thank you so much on. for sharing your story so far. <laughs> thank you for inviting us to see the big yes. cover of your book. Yes, yes. And do you know what? Go smash it, darling, because you're going to Thank gonna, you. You're more thank than you welcome. so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful <laughs> Gem Worth. Thank you. <laughs>